guys, welcome back to another ESL podcast. We are back with the speaking part two of Malik. So, what I'm going to be going over in this podcast, well, at the end of, or the conclusion, is again some things that I've already reiterated before. But for anyone and everyone, depending on what country you're in, I can only speak from the perspective of Thai students. They're not able to storytell the way he does, right? So I need, it's not so much storytelling, but it's giving great supporting examples. You guys are going to hear another one of my excellent students from India. Oh my God, you guys are going to love this. But in terms of that, what you need to do is focus primarily on the question. I'm talking about the question, the specific, the main detail of the question. Because, again, if you don't answer it directly, you're going to be in trouble. You might not – you will hinder yourself from getting almost a full score just by not answering the exact question. So without further ado, let's dive into this. All right. All right. So let me pull this back up. Okay. So here we go. Boom. So this is the part two, and this is the part two you're going to do. Now, you got a minute and a a minute and a half. I like to tell my students to make sure you fall around the one one minute and forty five second, depending on what country you're in. Um, okay. Here in here in Thailand, here in Bangkok, you know the examiner has a tendency of just waving their hand very abruptly in the air, you know, signaling to tell the student stop. But other countries, mm-hmm. they have far more. Uh, uh, they have far more, oh my God, manners, <laughs> you know, so in saying that, yeah. they, they got better manners. I know, I, I believe in my Dan- my, my Danish, okay, so uh, what we have here, <laughs> what we have here is the part two. Describe something you like very much, which you okay. bought for your home. Okay. Now, you could buy a computer for your home, okay? Now, mm-hmm. if you – let me give you an example. If your, la- your laptop – me, I just say MacBook because that's what I have. Um, you know, if that has really helped you a lot, just reword it and say, you know what? Okay, let me just say Apple, my Apple TV, and just make it sound like it's your MacBook but put it in the context of an Apple TV, because if that's the first thing that comes to mind and you know that you could speak about that in so many different ways, it's best yeah. if you stay on that, but just reword it, but make sure, because they don't know, they don't know that you're lying to them, right? Yeah. <laughs> they don't know uh-huh. you personally. It's about you just being comfortable, yeah, with what <laughs> being comfortable with what you're talking about. So you should say what you bought, when and where you bought it, why you chose this particular thing, and explain okay. why you liked it so much. Okay. So maybe can I start now? Can yeah, I? yeah, absolutely. If you're ready, let's do it. Okay, well, uh, I would start right from the beginning. Uh, when I was doing my bachelor degree, I'm very fond of laptop, like the MacBooks. So, but at that time, I don't have enough money, so I can buy that one. So after completing my degree, I got a job. Then I have, you know, I have like, enough money after one year so i can buy that laptop but still it's like a pretty uh, pretty expensive so it was pretty expensive so i then bought that one and the reason i bought that one was that i am more into in the research side i also do i am very fond of music as well so uh, the the after when i bought that one so i was working on that research side it's very smooth and the speed is very good and when we can uh, like it open a multiple apps uh, in the same time and we can use that one and the other thing is that uh, i like that one as well uh, i'm very fond of movies so it's a, it's a screen size is like 17 inch so it's a bit more uh, higher than the other one we, they also are given us uh, like 14 inch size as well so uh, i'm very fond of uh, movies as well and then also furthermore uh, I also like to uh, listen to some music. So, and my, like, in that way, I can use in the several ways. And then I bought it from uh, Pakistan. Uh, so, I I choose this particular thing is that it is like from last year, this laptop is with me. And I'm using this one and I like it very much. And it has all my data. 
uh, which I've gone through all my life, like in every country and all my research and all my education stuff and all of it, uh, it's uh, this laptop content. So I like it very much. And even I'm planning right now to buy a new model, but still I'm thinking that I have very kind of uh, like memories attached with this uh, MacBook. So it's still difficult for me to go for the new one. But I am considering the new one because uh, it's getting older and now their speed is like a bit slow. Uh, so, but uh, I also add the 4GB RAM in it so it can be more uh, good uh, in this way. So maybe I'll use this one for like more one, one more year. So later I'll buy a new one. Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. That was that. You. Know, <laughs> I put a line because I was like, "Uh oh, it's going over." Because he started talking about the future, because the one you have now is a little bit old, and you want to buy a newer one. Yeah. Um. And so again, what you bought, obviously, uh, the when, of course, you did that. The where, where did you buy it again? Yeah, I bought in Pakistan. Ah, so I that's just right. That. Yeah. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right. And obviously you gave excellent explanations to why you chose that particular thing. However, there was a lot of repetition. So right after this, yes, I will be sending you the audio so you could go over and listen to it because okay. there were a lot of repeated words, right? So a great, okay. a, what, what to increase, to get a pretty good ban, if we reduce the amount of repetition we use with specific it could be verbs it verbs it could be adjectives it could be nouns whatever it may be that boosts the chance because it creates that flow you know so there's a lot to talk about in regards to flow too and putting in thought groups to slow down your speech and just you know following a step-by-step -step process saying because you use the um what is it you said also the first time and i'm like okay Excellent. And then right after that, you said also again. So I was like, oh, okay. damn. Okay. Repetition now. Okay. You know, so again, this is just, you know, just critiquing what you said and whatnot. Um, and you talked about why you liked it so much and you went into a lot of detail. Now, the reason why it went over is because you were talking about the future. If you had cut yeah. it off, then it would have been pretty solid, you know, versus, you know, without me critiquing it and everything but then you started talking about the future which kind of is irrelevant because you're talking about something you liked very very much and you bought for your home okay. so to speak about the future it's, it's it doesn't really relate to something that you bought for your home obviously you're talking about your laptop something you could take with you and just to be safe, if you hear a topic like this, oh man, because if the examiner is like, well, a laptop, it's not really for your home because you could take it everywhere. That's what I'm kind of scared of because I always think in the shoes of the examiner what they might say. So, okay. you know, um, again, that's why I said, okay, if it's a MacBook or if it's a laptop, try to switch it and say, oh, you know, I bought this desktop computer back in Pakistan and I've taken it with me because I do all my, you know, all my research and I do this and I do this with it and I love it. To, you see what I mean? Just kind of rewording it because I'm scared if you don't have a very nice examiner they're gonna say oh well a laptop well that's not for your home you see what i mean because i know how examiners yeah. are yeah yeah does that does that make does that make sense all right guys thank you so much for tuning into that little snippet so here we go what is it that we need to focus on first and foremost you have to answer the question correctly okay as i was telling him um, when it comes to what, what is it that you use at home, it has to be at home. I'm scared that if he talks about a laptop, such as what he did, and that is more portable than an at home service, that could be very, very detrimental. So what ends up happening is that he 
might not get the full score because, I mean, the examiner, based on what the examiner's experience is or if the examiner is rude or very nice, they'll say, oh, well, that's not very at home because I told you to talk about a home product. Now, again, he had an excellent, he had excellent support and examples behind his laptop, as you guys heard, but it's not at home. So what can you do if you want to stick with that? You have to make that laptop sound like a home product, like an Apple, uh, what is it, an Apple screen or whatever you want to call that, an Apple monitor that's basically a computer in itself, just to make it sound like it's something that you have at home and that you do not take with you, just so you can be safe. Now, I've already mentioned, you know, going from tense to tense, you guys are going to have to improve that for sure, for sure. So he's able to carry that conversation, but the jumping from tenses, that's something that he can build, obviously, with coaching and with doing mirror exercise and with speaking to someone in general or even having an audio journal. This is something that all of you can do. All right. So with that being said, that's all I have. Now, with the speaking part three, there will be more details because I love the fact that he jumps from he uses comparative language. He gives, you know, he gives his stance on particular things. It's very, very good. So. And saying that, guys, that is the end of this specific podcast. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And as always, I'm your crazy host, over and out.